Hey, it's MK, and I am back with another May I Scrap Lift You layout, and today I am going to be scrap lifting Ronnie Sue Scrapper. She is one of my favorite scrapbookers who uses die cuts a lot in her scrapbooking, and I just want to be her when I grow up. So what I've pulled out is a couple really old, close to my heart, uh, craft cardstock pieces. I don't even remember what boy kit they came from. I have a little charm that was from my Creative Cuts Club. I have a bunch of die cut trees. Now these trees are a mix of Tim Holtz as well as Elizabeth Craft Designs and their link will be down below but I have to do this little blurb you guys. I joined the affiliate um, bandwagon and so if you click on those links and happen to purchase these trees a little bit of the proceeds or however that works the little pennies will come to me as well just to let you guys know that that is how the affiliate links work all right also i have cut some grass on my cricut it was just an image that i, I typed in grass and that was the image i picked and i used my chameleon wax from dixie bell um, paints on the leaves to kind of give them a little bit more color i have this cut file that i believe i purchased from the creative uh, redefined creative cut shop or it came in my um in my kit club my my creative cuts club kit ah, however you say that i have six photos that i would like to attempt to put on this two-page layout i picked out two rust colored papers from craft consortium this here is uh, wild at heart uh, cocoa vanilla paper and then I have this simple vintage coastal from simple stories uh, wood grain that I plan on using and just to keep you guys up on where I am at I am still at my retreat in fact like I said uh, a couple of these layouts were completed at the retreat and I'm very grateful because I have been swamped since I got home you guys it's like a chicken with his head cut off don't take that the wrong way all right so to create my mountains I am just going to draw a very squiggly line um, on both of my papers and cut them and then I plan on using both sides um, I'm not sure if they're going to line up or not I will probably have to you know trim it down in some spots but I'm going to use the large side as my back mountains and the um, other side as um, you know, my front mountains or heels. I'm trying to recreate what Ronnie did um, without actually watching what she did. It's my favorite thing, you guys. I love um, making my own layout based off of someone else and then going and finding out how they made their layouts. Okay, so another thing that I have to tell you guys is that I forgot all of my cardstock going to this retreat, as well as um, my micro dot uh, adhesives, you know, my, my glue dots. Um, there, was, there was quite a few things, and I did not think I was going to do as much mixed media as I thought <laughs> I was that I was going to do. So there was specific layouts that required, or, or um, in order to get the same effect, I had to use mixed media on, and I just, I had no clue. I was going to be doing as much mixed media as I did at this retreat, which I have never really done mixed media at retreats before. Maybe a spray here, a sprinkle there, things like that. But in all honesty, um, you know, I try to leave the messy stuff at home, but six days and I was craving all of my mixed media things. You guys, I, I told Janet, I said, if we do another six day retreat, I'm bringing all my stuff, like my whole craft room, because I was craving it and I don't like to ask for anything and the girls were like really <laughs> okay so um I cut my wood pieces and then I inked the edges I know I'm behind because I babble um but then I also went and I re-inked uh, not really re-inked but I inked the edges of the grass just to kind of give um you know it another tone you know so now it's got three colors the original green cardstock the chameleon green and now all the edges are inked brown so it kind of gives them just a different color because I thought that they matched my trees a little bit too well so I also have to tell you guys that in all honesty these trees I've never cut die cut anything in pattern paper and so the whole time I'm like mm, do I like 
these green striped trees. Do I, do I really? Cause I used a whole cardstock and just went die cut crazy on all these trees. Um, the other trees, the darker trees are a dark wood grain and you really can't see the pattern in them. Um, except for like maybe that, that one tall tree in the back. Yep, I can see that little where the two pieces of wood grain come together. But other than that, they look like solid trees. But these stripes, I am freaking out. I am going crazy. Do I like them? Oh my goodness, I'm not sure. <laughs> so, and the whole time Sandy's sitting across from me and she's going, those are beautiful. I love those. Oh my gosh, you know, and just encouraging me to be quiet and use the trees. <laughs> So I did, um, and I do like how it looks. In the end, I don't even notice that they're striped anymore, but it's just hard for me to use a tree that's patterned or a an image that's patterned that, I don't know, you guys, it's, my brain doesn't think that way. It's very, very, um, uh, what is that? I don't even know what the word is. Um, complex is a good word, um, but yeah, I'm. I, it's not literal. Because um, clearly, I, I sometimes don't take things literal. But it's just, it's hard for me to do the whole die cut in the pattern print thing. But I had no choice because I wasn't going to ask for cardstock, even though everyone there at the retreat's like, what color do you need? No, I'm going to look for what I have. And I have to tell you guys, I used a lot of paper um, on all of these layouts that I created doing so because I had to go and look for other things that I wouldn't have normally picked out because I would have went into my cardstock stash. So this made me feel really, really good at all the things that I ended up using over this weekend. Okay, so I am following along with Ronnie's layout by putting my trees down with the mountain, um, kind of going around through the curves and all that really cool stuff. Uh, just like Ronnie, but I don't know if she actually used die cuts or stamps because now I'm starting to think she used stamped images to create the back of her background. Now, I definitely didn't do the whole uh, watercolory thing. I, I cheated totally and went for a pattern paper um, instead of doing the whole I'm going to watercolor or swipe my ink pad, things like that. I definitely was happy with the watercolor paper that, or the pre-printed paper that I had found. Now, another thing that I'm going to run across is I had to go and pick a pattern paper, <laughs> say that five times fast, for the back of my photo mats. And I have no clue what paper I used. I think this is kind of like a gray burlap um, paper that I had in my stash. Not a big deal. And oh my gosh, I'm pulling out this awesome mesh. It's in green, you guys. I have to thank um, Nancy Robbins. She sent this to me as a thank you gift. And I just could not believe, look at this green, you guys. I am in love with it. And it's going to go perfect on this layout. Okay. Whew. Had to get that out of the way. Now I went and put all my layouts or all my photos down and I almost forgot my wood pieces, which is a major part of Ronnie Sue's layout. So I almost forgot all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly just pull up all my photos and lay all these down. Well, what I didn't plan was I cut the photos down as low as I could or as small as I could without losing an image and without asking somebody else to reprint them for me. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, like I said, I have a hard time asking. Uh, so anyways, I did all that. Well, then I didn't realize that I had that huge cut file that was going to be my title. So I, I have to figure out where that is going to go. And here it is. <laughs> Clearly it does not fit. So these photos are of us um, at the Palisades. Palisades is a, um, it's a ghost town, which Clearly, all the buildings are, all the buildings look just like this. Um, but what was, what is interesting about Palisades, now I actually haven't gone and Googled it or anything like that. Um, but what I found interesting about the town of Palisades is, for one, there's still people living there. Um, they're the ones that maintain the property and make sure that, you know, vandalism doesn't happen, things like that. Uh, so we have to be respectful for the people that still live there. And number two is, all of the people that lived there back in the day lived in the earth. So their dwellings were holes in the ground, holes in the side of the mountain, um, but structured like they would start a mining cave. 
And so it was kind of one of those things where you could see all the railroad ties and the beams and things like that holding up the entrance. And then you walk in and some of the walls were like so super smooth and just, just, it was just really cool. Um, and I know I've said this before but about when you walk into the cave, the temperature dropped almost 20 degrees. It was so cold in those caves. It was awesome. And they're not really caves, you guys. They were dwellings um, of some sort. Now, some, some of the dwellings looked just like this where um, you could tell where it was, but there wasn't much, um, you know, it was all caved in and everything like that. Um, my husband tried to go down as far as he could. And of course the kids are like, is it safe, dad? Can we go? Can we go? No, one of us getting damaged is enough. And luckily he did not go very far and didn't get damaged at all. All right, back to the layout. I went ahead and I cut apart my cut file because it wasn't working. And I didn't have a clue that it said explorers. I thought it was just explore. So I dropped the R and the S and I have just explore because that's what I thought it was. Um, <laughs> and then I'm just going to go ahead and take this really cool mesh again. Thank you so much, Nancy. Um, and take my um, uh, grass and make my clusters. I, again, I am mimicking what Ronnie Sue has done in her layouts, kind of, because I do... I do think I have more photos than she does. I can't remember. Um, I think I have one more photo than she does. And I also didn't do any rocks. Like she, I don't know if she fussy cut or crick cut or how she did that, but she did a bunch of rocks and stuff. And in all honesty, I was kind of being lazy about that. So I just wanted to do the mesh and the grass because I wanted to kind of get the feel of all the sagebrush that has overgrown all the structures. Um, so this roof caved in, gosh knows how long ago, and the sagebrush is practically covering it up to where you have to be right on top of it in order to see it um, and in order to uh, discover it. So there are two different dwellings um, in and in this um, in these photos, but one of them, when you when you go and look at it, one of them is the rooftop. And then the other one was the entrance. And so they are the same exact dwelling, which I didn't know that at the time uh, when we were, because we were up the top and we came down on this, on this metal roof. And that's when um, my husband tried to go down into it and see what was all in it and stuff. He thought it said, he thought that um, it might've been a type of a barn at the time when um, he got a peek inside of what, um, you know, what might have been down there. And when the kids and I came down and around, that's when we realized that we found the entrance to it. So anyways, that's where we are. And I am just going to go ahead and tuck all of these pieces in. I do have to say that I pulled out um, a couple of these craft labels. Now, again, they are from close to my heart. Oh, I found the packaging. Look at that. They're from um, what's called My Boy Compliments back in the day. I don't know exactly the, um, the date on these, but that is the packaging that they are in is from My Boy, um, which I'm not sure if that was a collection or just a separate option for papers that they offered, like for uh, a set for girls and a set for boys. Anyways, I pulled out the craft pieces from that collection. And um, I don't end up using as many as I thought I was going to use because by the time I got my grass and my, um, and my green mesh down, um, my tree's already there. I was like, oh, I really like how it looks without putting a whole bunch to it. Now, because I asked um, a whole lot from the Cricut that I borrowed, <laughs> sorry, I get a kick out of that. Um, because I asked a whole lot from that, I do have to kind of sort of trim off uh, little pieces here and there of my grass. Also, this grass, because I wanted really tall grass, um, this grass was part of a cattail image, and so I had to cut off the cattails um, and because I just wanted the grass. So anyways, I, that's also what I was doing, was cutting, making sure that there was no sign of the cattails left. 
All right, last but not least, I am going to try, I'm not sure if I've put my um, Explorer down or not. I wasn't paying attention to the video, you guys. I apologize. <laughs> um, but I do uh, add a little tag. I do want to add these mountains, but they weren't really fitting because I wanted them to be touching the base. So I went ahead and I cut them apart. So that way they, well, not that you couldn't see me cut them apart, but I did. Uh, I cut them apart so that way I could put one down in the base. I do like the fact that I added a little bit of black on one side, and so I went ahead and I added the black to the other side instead of using the mountains for another layout later, later. I also am going to put um, my favorite is twine inside this tag. Um, it's just a little charm. I think it says journey on it. Uh, again, it came from my Creative Cuts Club kit. Uh, I believe last month. I think that came from last month. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I'm just going to add it on top. Now, when I use uh, little craft journaling spots like that, they're never enough for me to say what I actually have to say about it. And so I usually end up using them as direction or um, as a embellishment, um, a, de a decoration rather than um, actual journaling, or I use them as just for a date stamp. And that's it. All right, here are the close-ups of what I have done. Oh, it says find joy in the journey. I was close. It said journey. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate you guys um, every time you stop by and say hi or even give me a thumbs up. That is just awesome. It makes my day. It really does. I know I've been a slacker lately on the comments, and I really, really apologize. I want to get back to um, making sure that I respond to all of the comments. Um, be sure to check out everyone else that is playing along with May I Scrap Lift You. The list is down below. Also with all those affiliate links that I told you guys about for the tree die cut because I do know that um, I get a lot of questions about where I found that tree die cut and it is, you guys, it is perfect for all of my tree layouts. All right, thank you so much and I'll hang out with you later. Bye.